United Center in Chicago uh, press conference, but we are not talking about UFC now. Just for a while, you just uh, declare to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, Manny Pacquiao fan. Yes. Uh, tell us why. Well, I, when I moved down to Southern California, I had the opportunity to train at Wildcard Gym. With Freddie Roach. With Freddie Roach. And I trained, trained there, and, and Manny was coming, and he was getting ready to fight... Um, Marquez for the first time and uh, I just I saw him I was oh man you know, this is Manny Pacquiao and funny story when I went in there started getting ready for my workout with Freddie uh, Manny was just getting done with his workout or maybe maybe uh, the first part of his workout so he comes in sits down beside it, beside uh, one of his one of his uh, trainers and kind of motion to me like watch this and I was in there changing and he sits down drinks some water and they're massaging his legs he drunk the water and spit water in his in his uh, trainer's face and they all started laughing um, it was it was awesome to see just the camaraderie they had and not you know just I, I admire him not just because he's a great fighter but he's a great person you know he treats a lot of his um, you know, he treats everybody like family that's around him. Did you ask? Did you ask him for uh, some kind of uh, tricks? I mean, he cannot use your wrestling background in the ring, but maybe yeah. you can use some of his stuff uh, yeah. in a cage. Oh yeah, you know, um, I did ask. You know, I, I was working with Freddie, and so Freddie was showing me a lot. And um, you know, when I started, when I started with Freddie, you know, I was very, very raw on my boxing skills. So he was just showing me the show me the basics, and from from the time I worked with Freddie to now, it's been about a year, a year and a half now, and um, I've developed so much in a year and a half. But it takes years to, to develop skills in boxing, you know, um, and I've learned so much from from them, you know. And just watching him train, I, I saw his mindset and saw saw what he puts into to his craft. And that right there, I, you know, I admire him even more because he's one of the hardest working athletes I've ever seen in my life. So, so yeah, so he's all in all, man. He's, he's just, he's the man. So the question, Mayweather or Pacquiao should not be asked you because it's... <laughs> Hands down, you know, it's, it's going to be Manny all the way. Would you say that the UFC fighters uh, could learn a lot from the top top fighters? Would you, would you say that the UFC... Uh, will benefit if the fighters will have a more boxing skills. Oh yeah, for sure. I think if, uh, if 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 MMA fighters were to adopt a lot of the boxing techniques, it would be it would be beneficial. But at the same time, there's a lot of other stuff that you need to keep in mind, yeah. like kicks and takedowns yeah. and elbows and knees that boxers aren't aware of. So, but in order to move like a boxer, you know, a punch like one. And be able to move and coordination have power, and everything and have power on on the move when when you know even with your footwork that takes tremendous amount of practice and a lot of time to be able to master that so if you were to just do that alone it would benefit you Dana said uh, the UFC will never compete with boxing a lot of people are drawing comparison between two of the sports uh, I think that both of them could easily coexist and be uh, one of the great sports arts that we can we are be able as a fans to enjoy do you agree I, I don't think so there is a necessary words of about competition between UFC and boxing no it's like oranges and apples yeah and I like them both you can, but you can yeah. like them both yeah you can like them both they're just different and you know I love boxing boxing has been around for a long time and you know, this it's just a new brand of, or, or just a new kind of, of orange that's coming around, you know? People like it too. So, um, you know, the thing is, like, MMA and boxing, it's almost kind of like the same, the same fan, but the same fan is going to like MMA. So there's going to be a lot of crossover. Not one's going to like the other. They're not going to stop watching boxing because they, they're watching MMA. They're, they're, they're the same fan. They're going to watch both. And then there's, there's going to be more that are drawn to boxing because of MMA.
So of course, they, they, they are somehow compatible. I mean, yeah. compatible. They, they, you, you can be fan of the boat, and uh, and the last one, it's tough to find your friend. We all know yes. it. But right. but yes. like in every sport, uh, you can go. Guys go and have a great dinner okay. afterwards, but yeah. not when you guys in the middle of it. Uh, yeah. Are you preparing uh, differently? before you're going to fight uh, Chen or, or, or it's the same way? You know, it's competition. That's that's what it is. And we've competed in college and, and we're going to compete here now. And it's, it's no different. You know, we're going to still have the same management. We're still going to see each other during some functions. And we're going to eat dinner together. Um, we're going to talk about wrestling for a long time. I mean, that's we share a lot of similarities, you know, and, and a lot of you know a lot of things that he likes, I like, you know. So, it's, nothing's going to change, you know. It's this is a high-profile fight. We both want to be a world champ in this division, and we just, you just have to go through it. We just have to go through it, and that's that's all it's going to be, you know. And and you know. It's, it's, that's not, nothing more, nothing less, period. In. Well, Mark Munoz, thank you very much in United Center before the January 28th. Uh, a great, great uh, evening uh, of UFC in Chicago. Thank you, Mark. That's right. Thank you.